Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Health. Thank you so much for watching. Today I've got my 04 Ford Ranger here and the AC compressor is not coming on. I've got the AC on, but as you can see, the clutch is not engaged. It's not getting cold. Now, I recently did a video, well, not too long ago, I did a video on an easy way to check for a bad relay and that's the old switcheroo method. Well, I'm out here in the country and I actually had an instance where that particular test was beneficial and I wanted to share this with you. Um, well, dag nab it, now it's gonna work. I'm still gonna show you because I can wiggle it and it will act up. Well, I've got two relays right here. This one right here is my AC compressor clutch relay and this one is my washer fluid relay or my washer pump relay. And one of them's good and one of them's not and I found that out earlier, I'll show you how. First of all, I opened up my owner's manual here and found out what relay was what relay and determined that these two would be good to swap because it doesn't matter if you pull your washer pump relay. Anyway, I touched my AC compressor relay. You can hear that. I'm just wiggling it. Well, it shut off just a little while ago. Hold on. Anywho. So I wiggled that, you heard that little clunk earlier. When I wiggled it, it shut off. So I took and I swapped it with my, uh, my washer pump relay and I didn't have any problems whatsoever. No intermittent on off issue or anything like that. So just wanted to reinforce that. That's actually a pretty good test to test for a bad relay. Now it is possible that if you wiggle a relay and whatever component that you're trying to get to work starts working, it's possible you got a bad relay, but it's also possible that the pins inside there, the female pins, may be wallered out, and that could be your problem. But if you take and you swap the relays, like I took my washer pump relay and I put it into the AC compressor relay slot, and then you don't have any problems and you wiggle it and the, the problems are gone, it's going to be a relay most likely. So I'm going to take my washer pump relay, put it into my AC compressor relay slot there. And it looks like we're working all right. Can wiggle it all day and nothing happens. Shut the vehicle off, start it back up, and the AC compressor comes on, no problems at all. Of course, it's not a bad idea to mark this with a marker, put like a B on it for bad, and go down to the parts store, go ahead and swap that one out too if you wanna use your washer jets or whatever, or whatever relay you swapped it out with. It could be your horn relay or, or whatever. Uh, go ahead and get you the correct relay and good relay and have everything working right on your vehicle. Thank you so much for watching guys. If this video was a help to you in some way, please like and also please subscribe. Thank you guys.